you know, great way to start off the season. Um, I think a couple of things that we really want to do is pick up our tempo. I think I believe one of my assistants said 95 possessions, a little more free play. Uh, you know, I, uh, I think that that energy you're feeling from the court has been shown on the on the practice court for the last several months. So it's nice to see to transcend. It's a fun team to watch. Um, good balance, number of uh, uh, assists you saw. You can tell that they're a team. They're a team. Plus, we got to the free throw line. Um, so it was a good start. We know got, it's like anything, the first first game, got some things that also were exposed that we're going to get better at. But uh, um, on these two part, we got a double-double, and Petra had a great, great uh, job, not only shooting the ball, but I think the dynamics of her court leadership is something that we, we have to make sure we, we shout out because she does a great job of uh, having that experience out there with, with a nice blend of young and old. Uh, Petra, you were all over the court today, and after being out last year, how did it feel to be back on the court, and did you envision this type of performance today? Uh, definitely felt great. You know, it's always better to be on the court and sit on the bench, but I think my teammates did a really good job of, you know, giving me the ball. I was basically wide open every time, so, and I mean, the second question, I didn't really expect it. All I wanted was to win, and we did that. Uh, Kennedy, first career game. How did it feel to not only get the win, but have the performance that you were able to today with the double-double? Um, it feels really good. I, I enjoy being out there, being out there with my team. I feel like they motivate me as well with um, being on and off the court. So having them there and just being able to do what I love made it easy for this first game. And uh, Kennedy, uh, did you feel any nervousness coming into your first game as an Illini? Or take me through the emotions you were feeling before the game today. Uh, I feel with anybody, nerves is expected. So of course, I was nervous and at the same time excited. But this is something that not only me, but our team has prepped for for so long. So I mean, they made it easy just to be ready, ready to go. Probably the one of the players just a new lineup. Um, how were you guys able to get off to such a good start? Is it something that in practice has really fit well together? What, what's um, been the key to that? I think what we talk about in practice is like five minutes at a time, like get stops, score on defense. We also talked about getting three stops in a row six times um, during that game. I think we got like over 10. So I think we definitely started with our defense and that translated into offense. Um, with that, I just want to shout out Coach for that. Just, just our, the, our blend as a team, like you can tell in our practices and the way we just blend makes that a lot easier for us to get on the court and start with that type of energy. Has this been a unit that you've uh, sort of used in practice leading into this game? And is that what re led to this success, the, this, five, this group of five players being together? I mean, obviously Brandy's out, our starting point guard, but you know that's how we played the last couple of practices. So, I mean, we kind of got used to it. But, I mean, people have to be ready to step up every time. Someone can get hurt or whatever. So everyone has to be ready to play. Petra, first came back from that injury. Career high for you tonight. What did it feel like to, to get out there, have the performance that you did, and get the win? Uh, if you could answer, and then if uh, Coach Faye could speak on, on her return to the court as well. I mean, like I said, it you know, felt great. I worked really hard to you know, be back on the court. I worked through rehab, you know, got some shots up, so it definitely felt great. But like I said, my teammates did a really good job of finding me and giving me the ball, so shout out to them. You know, I, I think the thing, when a player goes through a rehab of an ACL, that is a tough thing to go through. Um, you know, it's a team sport, and all of a sudden, you're doing all your rehab by yourself. So when players come back off of those things, it's, it's special in the first place in the sense of watching her have a night like tonight because you have to have respect for that. Uh, second, we, you know, we have this little shooting program that I think the first year I said it in the, the post game um, uh, that, that they accomplished that. I just shut up and let them shoot, and that's probably the best thing I've ever done with Petra. Um, <laughs> so uh, I'm just really excited to have her back uh, on the court, leadership. Uh, but a big shout out when players come back after that. So I'm really, I'm really happy for her.
Kennedy, uh, Coach kind of talked about the, the leadership that Petra provides, um, not just her scoring, but her leadership. What, what, how can you kind of speak to that about what uh, she gives as, as an experienced player to, to a younger group of players uh, this season? That's a very good question. I mean, yeah. Um, I would say when it comes to Petra, it's, it's energy. It's, she's that type of leader. She may not be very vocal, but it's, you watch her in practice, you watch her. I mean, you, you hear about her, you hear what coach says, you hear what other players say. So it's like, you see she has that fire and that energy and it just makes it really easy to follow. And Petra, really quickly, what are your thoughts on how the freshmen play today and, and what do you see them doing? Uh, like, how do you see them succeeding in the future? I think they played great today. Obviously, Kennedy had a double-double. I think she's going to be a, a nightmare for a lot of defenders. She's a nightmare in practice, to be honest. No one really wants to guard her. Because she's so physical, and I think she's the hardest working kid on the, on the court every time. Obviously, Janae, we talked about that. She kind of tries to overpass it, even though she can finish around the rim. She's probably one of our best finishers around the rim. And Jay does a great shooter. I think all of three of them are really good players, and we're glad to have them. Uh, Coach, what helped you get off to that quick 10-0 uh, start today? Uh, you know, again, I think that one of the things that starts of games, starts of quarters, starts of halves has been a big point of emphasis for us. Uh, and kind of and, and putting some defensive emphasis to it, not just offensive. You can, you know, offense can, and unfortunately, has sometimes it comes and goes. Defense, you can kind of lay your hat on and go, let's go. And I think that that's, um, you know, we came out in a little different strategy than we have in the past. Uh, so I was just really pleased um, how fast we played and, and got points off of defensive stops. And besides her offensive contributions or contributions on the court, what are some of Petra's intangibles that you appreciate? Well, you can have leaders, but if leaders don't do what everybody else respects, it really doesn't mean. So if you mean anything, if you're you see her in the gym taking shots, um, she's you know as much as you know, Kitty says she's quiet. You, if you sometimes you don't have to say a lot and lead, and so and you you listen to her at post games, post practices. We always talk. I'm, I'm not always the one that says things. Players have perceptions of how practice went. And she's re she really is right on sometimes as far as, you know, hey, guys, if we turn the ball over like this late in practice, we're going to turn the ball over late like this in a game. That's pretty insightful from a player. And I, th I think that's really important. So it's quiet, but it's, it's pretty, pretty effective what she says. Coach, anything you can speak to about Brandy's absence or a timeline for her return? Yeah, um, you know, Brandy suffered a concussion, so she's been out uh, close to 8 to 10, 12 days right now, somewhere in there. And that's a protocol. Um, so we follow protocol because our players are first and foremost. So that will, we'll just hope that that gets moving forward. We are also without Mackenzie Blazik, who saw significant minutes last year, and without Nancy, and I'm just going to say P, um, like you all. So we were actually pretty short, um, and we've had to actually do a scrimmage without four of our kids. Um, we're slowly getting healthy, but I think it was an opportunity for us to, you know, step up and get experience and move forward because every team has that. Every team has things like this, and that's what we got to fight through. What does it say, though, about to start two freshmen, um, have, you know, Janae, or uh, Janiah, who hadn't started a lot of games last season, how that kind of unit mixed well together there to start the game. Uh, what does it say about that uh, well, grouping? I think you brought up somebody that we haven't really mentioned, Miles, Janiah Ephraim. Um, you know, she really manages that court really well. And last year she was struggling with an injury pretty much the whole year. So I was really excited for her to come back, get a chance to play. Um, and I'm a point guard coach, so I don't, I mean, I don't even really look at what this line looks like, but I thought she managed the court really well, defended, did things, kind of showed that experience. And she's an energy kid, too. So I'm glad you mentioned her because I thought she's done a great job in stepping in where Brandy's been in that position, you know, solidly since I've been here. That's big shoes to fill in and, and just like that. So I was, I was really, she filled them in her way. She's a different player than Brandy, and I thought she did a great job. As far as the freshmen, that's what that's what we're kind of the players that you know we're we're recruiting. Um, and when you see those guys play, a lot of times um, they were just creating plays. 
I mean, I, you know, it wasn't like, oh, we did this, did that. They were creating actions. Uh, and as much as, um, you know, they're young, I, I don't think they want to be treated as freshmen. They want to be treated as, as, as basketball players, and that's what we're going to do. You think, too, the, the length that they provide, the, the two freshmen, makes a difference for you from maybe in past seasons uh, from newcomers that you brought in? Well, that's my, my second class. So I think that, you know, um, you know, McKenzie is, you know, was a good big, big get. And I think Janaya, and I think you can see, I mean, to play at this level at the length uh, is your right on, you know, speed, all those things um, is something that we're looking for. So even though this is the first game of a very long season, what sort of improvements did you see that you emphasized over this past off season today? Uh, tempo, uh, team ball, getting, I mean, the ball movement more, uh, different multiple people scoring. You know, I know that, you know, Petra filled it up today, uh, but we, we have more people that can score than her. So when people are going to lock up, I think there's other kids that are going to step up. And that's what's nice. I, I think when you have a couple of players feeling all that pressure to score, that's tough. And I think that's the difference. And so letting those kids do that, um, freeing them up. So uh, and we, when we get those other kids back, our depth will also show up. That was a little thinner today. And I think when we get those kids back, you'll even see a little more, um, what do you want to say, ability to keep tempo up. But 95 possessions is, is great. 